Here we are with Call of the Night episode 12. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Second last episode. Oh boy. I, I can't believe that it's next week, the last episode. Oh. <clears throat> he goes to her to talk about it. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, after the encounter with Anko, Anko, I call, I, Anko, um, seems like he's thinking about it, right? That he basically knows nothing about vampires. I mean, yeah, he didn't, or he doesn't, right? He just <clears throat> met her, and then just went with the flow and stuck around. But basically. He knows nothing. He knows nothing. <clears throat> I wonder what there is to know, except that it's vampires that they need to suck blood. That how they like populate and like get offspring and all that stuff. Like, what else could there be to know? Maybe that they are some vicious beasts and just use humans. <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> or maybe if there's more to it, right? <clears throat> I wonder if there's like some plot twist. That there's something about vampires that we don't know. That we don't expect. I mean, so far the vampires all seem nice, <clears throat> I would say. <laughs> she wants his blood. <laughs> Oh, she has a new top. God damn, she really wants his blood. Oh. Yeah. He's nervous. <clears throat> she was just very excited to get his t to get a taste of his blood again. For ten years, so very specific. Yeah, so she's fine. It's been just maybe a few days. And this looks so good again. <clears throat> Which she has to do actively. Hell no. Nazuna has new shoes. From the money of the maid cafe.
I mean, he just saw nothing on the others, right? And they seem nice. And then there's this other vampire, and he's like starving basically. And that's like a completely different experience of a vampire. Oh, the long suck. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> God damn it, Booba. Hell yeah. <laughs> Go staring. I would too. <laughs> Teach me and say Yeah, that's true, I guess. I mean, that's most likely not what's going to happen with Ko. Yeah, I mean, we don't know. We just know that he wants to become a vampire, right? But what does that include? Like, just experiencing more of the night? Because that's what... Yeah, it seems like he has no goal, right? There's nothing... For which you need to be a vampire for. I mean, we have to. Remember. Oh. <laughs> They went outside. <laughs> His home? Oh, we had his home for once. No porn. <laughs> So his mo he and his mother's alone. <coughs> oh, -ho. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Man, I love Nazna. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Finding, trying to find anything that is dirty, some loot stuff. I don't know. But he can technically do this while being human too, right? He's doing it right now. But I mean, eventually he needs a job and all that stuff. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I think she is okay. It gets normal at some point. Oh, she likes it. Mm, I don't think so. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Man, she looks so good in this shot. God damn it, the teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are those shoes? Jesus. Oh, he goes to the detective. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, she did. I guess she meant it. Damn. Hell yeah. I mean, she's good looking, right? She seems cool. Mm. 
<laughs> List his whole life. Mm hmm. Big boobs. She knows everything. <laughs> Let me guess. She just think. She just. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh, well, ice. Damn. Those eyes, man. Damn. Oh my god, he's a bit creepy right now. That's what I wanted to say. That he's basically... That he's basically like, become a vampire or don't, and then he dies. Because of the other vampires. Damn. Oh my god. Wow. That's a good offer. Oh, Kogan balls. Oh. Wow. Damn. He's in such a tough position right now, right? 
if he's not becoming a vampire, then the other vampires probably want to kill him. If he becomes a vampire, then the detective is after him. Now the police might look around and might see him in at night time. Oh, is this a bridge? Man, they are fast. She popping up. Oh, it's so <clears throat> damn. Damn. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, man, this was a very interesting and epic episode. So much interesting stuff. Like now we have Ko, because from the get-go, how everything started is basically Ko went outside at night, because he was just feeling like it, right? Something new, something, um, something thrilling, adventurous, right? Going out at night, which he normally isn't doing because he's a middle schooler. <clears throat> and then he just came across Nazana by coincidence, and from there he just stuck around, right? And <clears throat> just went with it right meet her every night hang around with her and all that stuff and he had a great time it was fun for him and everything because like they said <clears throat> it's something new right it's like not normal for him because of that it's like more thrilling and interesting and all this stuff but over time when it becomes normality it's not as fun anymore right <clears throat> that's the same with like love and the romance if you have like a relationship at the beginning it feels amazing and everything but at some point it becomes normal and <clears throat> that's when like many relationships i don't know if it's many but when relationships can stop right if it becomes normality and then all the love and all the good feelings are gone basically because it's normal and then <clears throat> you get into arguments and all that stuff and it, then it just stops right you break up and that's basically the same what course you're experiencing, right? <clears throat> it's unknown and everything, it was fresh and interesting. He is having a good time and it becomes more and more normal. I mean he still has a good time, right? But it's not as interesting as when he did it the first time or the second time or the third time. Um <clears throat> and so yeah, now he is also like questioning everything that is going on with the vampires. Like, are they really dangerous and what are vampires all about right he doesn't know anything <clears throat> he just knows Nazna which is like an outsider in the world of vampires um, and he knows that they are basically all about making offspring and all that stuff and I mean he knows that they are like all about the popularity and all that stuff right <clears throat> um, but I mean besides that he doesn't know much about them right he doesn't know if they have certain ambitions, like vampire ambitions or something, right? He basically doesn't know much, he doesn't... There's still like... I mean, we don't know how much more information... How much more information can there be, right? Like... I don't know. <clears throat> what could be something that could be missing as information? I mean, besides like conditions like... Is garlic bad for them? Like the cliche, right? Or silver or stuff like that. I mean, weaknesses. I, I think that's not really important, right? In that scenario. But I mean, like, in terms of, like, maybe danger. Are they, like, just pretending to be nice? But I mean, why should they tell that? 
why should they tell Co about that right if they are like just two if they have like two faces one nice face to get someone to like them and then the bad evil side where they just maybe kill someone i mean that's clearly a thing right because they said either Co becomes a vampire or they kill him right because otherwise he's a danger to them but i mean outside of that would they kill just some random person i mean <clears throat> sherry wanted to kill this, this other dude right but i mean that was the completely different story because they knew each other and all this stuff right and i mean it turned out that he was just a human and sherry was a vampire and he was a danger basically right eventually if she wouldn't have killed him then maybe someone else would have killed him like a, a different vampire right if he doesn't become the vampire <clears throat> so there was like this whole conflict going on that ko had too i guess so but like in normal scenarios it doesn't seem like vampires would kill someone right so <clears throat> all they do is basically suck blood right and if the person falls in love with a vampire then and they suck the blood then yeah he turns into offspring and which i mean they get turned into vampires against their will basically right so that is basically i wouldn't really say evil but it's definitely not nice right um i guess you could say from a normal human's perspective like Anko, i guess you could say that's evil turning someone against their will into offspring because that's what they are which that seems to be a big part of vampires right making offspring and you do it against their will basically so that could be considered evil because we saw what happens to this teacher right if they decide to not drink any blood then they just starve away for 10 years and then at 10 after 10 years they go out of control basically so <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> but besides that i mean biting someone and sucking someone's blood is also not nice but i mean would i say it's evil not necessarily i would say but i mean you have the bite marks going on that's not nice really if you don't want that um so i i can see where anchor uh, uncle is coming from right but yeah but i mean besides that is there anything else that vampires could do are doing that could be considered bad or evil I mean, technically, they try to flirt with people to get them so that they get on the good sides, right? And that they can make offspring. So they basically fake everything. So, I mean, that's also not nice, right? So it's a conflicting matter, I would say, right? There are definitely parts about the vampires that you could say is not nice. It's kind of bad or like somewhat evil right but like besides that <laughs> is there anything else like something threatening to all of humanity like are vampires planning to make tons of offspring so that they can eventually take over the world or some shit um something really evil i mean um do they have any other evil intentions i don't think so i guess they mainly just try to get by right get jobs do their jobs drink some blood making some offspring and that's about it i guess right i think they so far from what it seems like it seems like they don't do anything else right so i mean at least the vampires we saw seem otherwise pretty nice right i mean yeah and yeah ko is now questioning that all and is unsure about it. he doesn't even because that's also a thing he doesn't even know why he wants to become a vampire he just went with it like i said which does not everything and then just decided at episode one when she sucked his blood and he found out about, uh, found, found out about all of that he just decided like i want to become a vampire i guess because <clears throat> he experienced the night the freedom the fun and everything and just thought okay if i'm a vampire i can do i can do that too and we'll always have this fun and it just stuck with him right but now that it becomes normality it's not as exciting anymore 
but I mean he still says he has the freedom of the night right and I guess that's why he still wants to become a vampire I guess but like I said I mean he technically he technically can do that even if he's not a vampire right I mean he could do a job that is like nighttime based or something or like late late evening and then after work is done he could go out at night time and have fun and then in the morning hours he goes to bed wakes up later that day and goes to, to work again right if you do that as a normal life so he could do the same thing somewhat as a human and i mean even if he becomes a vampire it's not like that he can do that every time and nothing else right because he still needs a job nazana has a job the other vampires have a job so he would still need a job to make a living right <coughs> so So technically he could do everything he's doing right now he could do as a normal human too i mean i think it seems like that vampires also need need sleep right so they basically do that having like a job at some point then uh, out at night and then go to bed at some point and sleep it's not like that vampires don't need sleep yet it seems like because nazana sleeps i guess other vampires sleep I mean, it's, at least it seems like they sleep, so I, I think we don't necessarily know if they sleep. Um, but yeah, so he's questioning that all and he's not wondering why he wants to become a vampire and all of that. And then we had the scene with Nazuna in his room, right, which was pretty funny, I would say. And she said she lied to him about the fun of being a vampire, she says. She's just bored and everything, just has time just passes by and she tries to get and she just plays games and all that stuff and just boring overall um and then she said why well then Ko said why he said that to him that it's fun right and she said maybe because that's how she wanted to be um <clears throat> I mean why would you do that to a random person right i guess it's not just because oh yeah maybe that's how i want it to be i guess it's i would guess it's mainly because she likes ko right and because she likes ko she wants him to to experience that what he likes right <clears throat> but i mean otherwise in like one of the early episodes we saw her walk around the town city whatever and she said man all these people have bleak faces right they are not enjoying the night time and then she said unlike someone else i know which she meant co obviously with so maybe she maybe she wants other people to enjoy the night time right and maybe it's not just because of co being co and she likes him um i don't know i guess maybe both is true right one side wants other people to experience the nighttime and have fun because that's what she wanted to be but on the other side she also likes Ko and that's why she wants to do it with Ko too and wants Ko to enjoy it <laughs> and when Ko said yeah it's not like you want to make offspring with me and she said yeah that was not a, a yeah like yeah you're right that was more like a sad yeah like I guess in the direction of being disappointed because I guess at this point I mean we know that she kind of wants to make offspring with Ko right I mean when she when Nazana and Sherry talked and she said she had someone that she wants to make offspring with and Sherry was like oh so you had someone so you're just playing around you're just fooling around with this boy and Nazana was clearly clearly hinting to like he is the one I want to make offspring with so at this point she is still like reserved and because it's embarrassing for her and everything but at this point i guess we know that she is not opposed to it right that she wants to make offspring with ko um and then yeah we had the whole scene with the detective with uncle which is crazy very crazy because here comes of conflict on one side uncle wants him to not become a vampire right and because she says if you become a vampire then i have to kill you um, but if he doesn't become a vampire then the other vampires might kill him because he is a liability right he is like he knows about vampires he could spill the beans that would be bad for vampires so they would kill him otherwise 
And so he's like in these two corners, right? He's like on the corners, corners here in the middle. And has to decide in which direction he wants to go because on one side, <clears throat> Uncle said, hey, because Ko said, they will kill me, kill me if I don't become a vampire. And she says, no, it's fine. I will kill them all. <laughs> That's a bold statement, I would say. Because it's also interesting that Nazna said earlier, a human that can kill a vampire? She was questioning that, right? So maybe because vampires are like superhuman strong, they never really saw it, right? That a vampire got killed by a human. So maybe it's news for them. Um, but I mean, we saw Uncle do it, but I mean, that vampire was already off the brink of death anyway, right? So it might not be the best case. <clears throat> and yeah, she definitely tries to intimidate him, right? <laughs> With all that stuff and now calling the police, which maybe the police will watch out for him at night. That they like patrol from now on or something. So he has to be careful when he goes outside at night. Otherwise the police might find him because of Uncle now. And I can't really get a read on her, why she is the way she is, right? Because maybe <clears throat> she clearly sees Vampire as the true evil, the pure evil, nothing but evil. And I wonder why that is. Maybe something bad happened to in her life and Vampires are at fault for that. Now she, she has a grudge against them. <clears throat> or maybe it's just because she sees them as, like she said, as evil because they turn people into Vampires against their will and all that stuff. Um, so it's definitely interesting and I can't wait to see more but we have only one episode left and I hope that after the next episode they announce season 2 that would be chef's kiss I hope that um, but otherwise I can't get a read on Anko like the funny side of her when Ko met with her and she was like oh you wanted to hit on me and he's like no I don't and she oh you don't I, I don't know if, the, if she means that really, or if she's just joking around. I, I don't know. Because she seems like an oddball, right? So I don't know if she actually wanted Ko to hit on her or not. I'm so conflicted because she didn't say, I'm just kidding. She seems serious. She seemed serious. <laughs> um, and then later when she said, yeah, if you don't become a vampire, I do anything you want. Which could lead into the same direction, right? Like making out and all that stuff, hitting on her. Um, I don't get a read on her. <laughs> he is weird, but I like her. And so I guess, yeah, that covers it, right? Oh yeah, the scenes in this episode, amazing. Like the scene is in his room when it, the light went out and Ko was on top of Nazna. The tease with the kiss, holy shit. But it looked amazing and so many other scenes in this episode that looked amazing i mean also the booba of the girl that um what's his name mojito i don't know what's the one's name of his friend uh, of his friend i don't know but uh, when he and his friend went to the woman with the big booba that was a nice shot <laughs> a nice scene and i mean so many other great shots in this episode that just look amazing um but yeah 70 minutes this is my longest thoughts video because there was so much going on in this episode that is like very interesting and that you can just talk about it for a long time um but yeah, i guess that's the episode i guess i covered everything i hope so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think i would be very interested and yeah thanks for watching until next time bye bye